Viewer discretion advised. <laughs> Snake says to himself, ah, I'm gonna go hungry for some more children. Children, come out, come out, wherever you are, because I'm eating you. Hmm, where can you be? I think I know where you are. You're right here. Thank you. Goes a little snake. He brings home a pencil. And then he sees if he can put it on his tongue. And he's like, no, maybe it can be a, a armrest. But the snake didn't have any arms. So he had to slither and he curled himself up. He hung it up. And he curled himself. And he said, hey. Anyone who wants to come, I'm going to eat the little spiders. So he curled off and then he went hunting for a spider. He couldn't find him, but he found this headband. He didn't know what it exactly was, so he just took it home. And he thought he can use it to put on his head. But it was, his head was too small. So he used it as a bed, and then he was so comfortable that he that he fell asleep, having a dream that he turned into a person, and then he tried to eat some more people, but they wouldn't come. So he went walking and walking until he could find the people, and then he ate the people, and then there was only him. Everyone was in the, his stomach, and everyone did not like it. So the snake just went on. Then he woke up, then he went hunting for some children, walking like a person. But he didn't know what exactly he was doing. He just followed his dream. And he walked and walked until he got to a building. And he saw the building, so he slithered up to the top of the building, and then he ate through, and he said hi to everyone, then ate the people. He came up and down till the bu the building was completely gone. The building was gone; it was only him. He preferred to go take another nap and follow his other dream. The end. Ha <laughs> ha! 